All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to Apostle and Elders in New York, GMS, and Salutation Yahweh around the world that's teaching the truth. My name is Maya Kahala Bungad with the Chicago Branch of Great Millstone. I'd like to make a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. All right, we are Israelites or Hebrew Israelites, descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, the Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the confusion of faces scattered abroad. Okay. And black is a color, not a nationality. All right. Nobody is a colorful tar. All right. And uh, we are not defeated in any black identity in string group. Now, uh, it was, it was uh, based a scoffer um, earlier. You know, you asked. Um, as a YouTuber by the name of Nostalgia Creed were uh, the so-called Eskimos, Israelites. So uh, Nostalgia Creed said yes, you know, because all the things they went into it, uh, matched the script. So Scoffer, you know, he, as usual, you know, probably one on 100 video watching Scoffer. Probably watched two or three counts. <laughs> And he definitely not um, grounding the word and stuff, you know, talking all that smack, man. So what I'm going to do on my channel, I'm going to show you that the indigenous people in further north of America, all right, so-called Eskimos, because I'm, I'm going to show you in, in a couple uh, seconds why I said so-called Eskimos, because that is not their name and it's incorrect. Alright. Alright, that's the storm. That's, that's your owl. If you hear that booming in the background. Alright. So right here, in order to know who are the Israelites, what's the easiest thing to do, man? Alright. You go to the scriptures and you match up the curses. Or lined it up with certain groups of people to find out they are the Israelites. So what did it do with the curse in Deuteronomy 28? What did it say in here? The prophecy of curses in here. You know, Salah. It says, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 45 said, Moreover, all the curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hast hearkened not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments, statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign for one upon thy seed forever. And that's how you tell who are the Israelites, regardless of where they scatter it, man. All right. And the indigenous people of America are the Nordic people. They came uh, over here after Syrian captivity. You read that in um, 2 Exodus 13, 39 to 48. And, and uh, the 1611 King James Bible, which the part was taken out of, could mean hidden away. By the uh, by, the Bible destroyers because the prophets in in in, in that the, the book uh, showing the downfall of uh, Edom, so called uh, Caucasian, the lifting others like so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and also they had to the fact who are the uh, uh, the ten tribes of Israel. All right, who's, who's the Nordic Kingdom? All right. So that's two main reasons why that proper that book was taken out of the Bible. All right, but again it says right here it says, and they shall be upon said Deuteronomy two eight forty six saying they shall be upon thee for a sign and for one upon thy seed forever. So you get take the take the curses in Deuteronomy two eight and prophecy and other prophecies throughout the chapters other chapters throughout the Bible and line them up with the people to see the other Israelites. All right. And uh, all right, let's go right here. It says what? Uh, and what's 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 a famous dessert? Everybody love Eskimo pie. All right. And the word Eskimo is is a is a is a bad word, man. All right, it means flesh flesh eater. All right, so the people they, they uh. Calls that Inuit, Inuit, which means the people. All right. Uh, another one, I believe, is uh, Alu, Aluit. Um, 
and there's there's a other name, but the term Eskimos is a slanderous and bad word, and it's a blanket name for all the indigenous people further in North North America, up there, up there about Alaska, and and um, you know up there, uh, north a little bit north up there by um, uh, Canada and, and other regions, you know. All right, so uh, let's see right here. So right here, it says, "What well, Deuteronomy twenty-eight verse thirty-seven." It says, and thou shalt become astonishment, a proverb, and a bad word among all nations where your house shall lead thee. All right. Become astonishment, a proverb, and a bad word. All right. And then you go to Psalms. Let's see here. Psalms. It's a lot. And that lines up with this. Uh, King David, he was also a a uh, prophet, <laughs> which vocab alone failed to to realize. <laughs> so you you wacky Christians, man. You don't you don't you don't study scriptures, and you you go scoffers. You don't study scriptures either. All right, because your mom got people, man. Uh, it says Psalm forty four thirteen. It says, "Thou shalt make us reproach to our neighbors, a scorn, a derision to them that are round about us. Thou make us a bower among the heathen, a shaking a head among the people." All right. So we'll go to Psalm forty four fourteen. And let me see. No, it's a lock. I meant 13. That's what I meant. All right. Reproach. Karapa. Kara. Karpa. All right. So, yeah. Let's see. Where's Hebrew word for reproach? Give it to me. Come on. All right. A repulse, a repulse, scorn, taunt, scorn, reproach, repulse, object, all right. Continue disgrace, rebuke, reproach, shame, all right. Cool, what they call, they call the, the indigenous people, they call them savages, all right. Other, other names, man, all right. You see the scorn, log, log, mocking, all right. All right, so it's a um, log mocking derision. All right, so you know the word Eskimo is mocking, man. Then you uh, get them as <laughs> use them as at you know as as uh, treats and stuff like like in um, over there and in um, Eastern Africa, they call our people a uh, nigger cookie. I've got the name, the real name, basically it breaks everywhere for nigger cookie. What they call the tribe of Judah over there in East Africa. All right, there yeah, right here, man. Look at that using this using um the Inuit, the true which which belonged to the tribe of Gad. All right, the Inuits, all of these people, of Alaska, up there, that that region, are uh, tribe of Gad. Look at that Eskimo. Then they use them in their advertisement. Look at that man, lighten up their skin. <laughs> You know, they're, they're dark skinned. Most of the people, some people dark skinned, some light skinned, you know, but, you know, you saw, you know, Eskimo Pie. Come on, man. These people out there is lights, man. If it's Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 37, one of the curses, you've been uh, astronomy, a proverb, and a bad word, and Psalms 44 13, you should be scorned or reached approach, man. All right. You should be mocked, man. This is mocking. This is mocking the Trav Gad, man. All right. Look at that. <laughs> this is the, the curse, man. They fit these people, man. You know, a lot of these scoffers, man. All right. Yeah. All right. So all these products, and you, you seen these products? You growing up as a kid, man. Your house, man. Your deal, and your damn life is that you're not. We carry genuine Eskimo pie. <laughs> Whew. Oh, boy. Look at that. All right. Mm -hmm. 
And this might be a two-part video, man, because it's just it's just too much stuff up in here. Yeah, uh, they are. This Eskimo Joe's. Eskimo Joe's a restaurant and a bar located at Fountain One West Elmer and Stillwater, Oklahoma. Look at that, you got the, the Gadite, so called Eskimo with a big grin. All right, they do that to uh, Trap and Judah, so called Negroes, man. It said in history, it said Eskimo Joe was opened by Steve Fowler, who came up with the name and Stan Clark, who later purchased the Fowler entry and became a sole owner to graduate nearby Oklahoma State University on July 21st, 1975. Originally, Eskimo Joe was only a bar, but when drinking aid was raised from 18 to 21, 18, what well, the business became a restaurant as well. The name came from the Zadar Express. Eskimo Joe's had the coldest beer. In town, well, shit, you couldn't make a, a damn polar bear or, or, or a penguin. You have to use our people. It said the rest also called still while jumping little juke joint. <laughs> I'll a two story building unique. All right, it says, uh, yep. So it's a popular thing, man. It said merchandise and mascot. Eskimo Joe also famous for his brand name, Eskimo Joe logo. Feature a smiling cartoon, Eskimo Joe. And, and Joe, uh, the word Joe come from, y'all. Joseph was Yawa Sop. All right, see, so these people know what they're doing when they, when they come with these names, these, these, these names, man. They know what they're doing. And it's slobbering Kane, our friend, Buff. Buff, he was created in 1975, freshman at our student at uh, OSU. All right. It said Eskimo Joe t-shirts are reported in the mid 80s to be the second most collected t-shirt in the world, trailing on a hard rock cafe. Cafe. All right, so there you go, man. It said the company runs a retail outlet connected restaurant in Stillwater, its locations in Tulsa, and Oklahoma City. <laughs> and it's a spiritual dad at Tulsa, where uh, Judah and Gad, well, Judah, where Judah and the rest of their Gad are brothers. And Ruben had that um, so-called Black Wall Street. It said Eskimo Joe's apartment chain of theme restaurant owned all owned by Clark that used to be called Three Amigos. All right, blah blah, but you know, et cetera, et cetera. But you get the point, man. Look at this, man. That's that's, that's, that's mocking us, man. You're mocking traffic gas. I'm from traffic gas, man. You know, these are my brothers. You know, they mocking them, man. All right. Looks look at another company into it. <laughs> but the so called Eskimos are in his lights. Man, you, you, man, you guys, you need to study, man. That's a famous software, into it. Right in your face, man. All right. The racial slurs, man. Bad words. Alright. Shakupka. Ask more Russian. For ask more Russian jokes, they do ask a lot of stupid questions, make silly marks, and draw wrong conclusions. See that? Q referring to their igloos made of cues. Harpoon chucker. Ask more chuck, chuck spears to hunt fish and play on spear chocolate. What's wrong with eating fish? Especially it's clean. It said husky refers to a type of dog found in North Park. Husky also means large and and uh, overweight. Klondike, <laughs> female Eskimo. See that shit? Mo, short for version of Eskimo. Muck, short for Eskimo due to problem with Eskimo hair being pronounced the English language. He, 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 he saw ignorant ass. All right, it says uh, muck. Muck cut come from the main Eskimo food, so muck tuck well fat meat. That's what they call our people. Muck tuck. Muck is Eskimo for well blubber. Pie face. Round shape of their faces most likely originate from or at least made popular by the comic book The Green Lantern, who had a mechanic, Tom Pieface Kamaku. Tom was Alaskan Inuit, all right, who was called Pie Face because features made his eyes look like a. Eskimo pie. See that? All right. Skimo, derogatory slang of Eskimo. Snow chink. They look fairly Asian, live in the snow, right? Because some, you know, some, some Eskimo dark skin, you know, 
some white skin like that, but they epic foes. I'm gonna show ladies different from from the Asians, man. All right, it used to be on Wikipedia. You know, somebody went there, took it off. All right, snow nigger, self explain self explanatory, snow blower, out of shape Eskimo that breathes heavy after walking a few feet in the snow. See this shit, man. All right, so there, there you go, man. All right, yeah, look at this uh, video game. Remember that Smash Bros. Ice Climbers? We think they got that from man. Who dresses like that? All right. So there you go, man. Hello, there, there. Remember that video game Ice Climbers? You be on Nintendo. All right, right there. <laughs> you guys, man, you don't study. Alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, matter of fact, I know what's another thing. Let me see. Edmund. Edmonton. Eskimos. This is right here. All right, so we got another team out there in Edmonton, Canada. All right, Edmonton and Eskimos, all right. They still using that name, just like the Washington Redskins, you know. You guys, man, you need to study, man. There's uh, this, this people further North America, Alaska, all that Canada, man, all that, man, all that there's lights, man. You don't know your history. All right, let's see. Uh, it said, Adam Escar, professional Canadian football team based in Edmonton, Alberta, competing in the West Division of Canadian Football League. Eskimos play their games. Everybody go to history right here. All right, let's see. Uh, founded in 1949. <laughs> All right. All right, so the past. They still using it, man. History. All right, so there you go, right here. They say, likewise, calorie responded insults by Edmund in Northern Lad to refrigerate well, a policy resident. Eskimo, the Arctic spelling that Eskimo referred to additional people of the Canadian Arctic, probably Inuit. Probably Inuit. All right, so you know, all right, so there you go, man. Uh, all right, I'll cut 